Hey guys and welcome to my free to play 1 to 99 melee guide. I would always advise getting a membership to train your account but if you're a free to play player and you want to stay that way or you're new to the game and you want to train combat up in free to play a bit, this guide is for you. So when you're ready grab that cup of tea, sit back, relax and enjoy. Now, free-to-play command isn't necessarily complicated, but I'll be explaining some basic gear setups you will need, or at least what you want to have for purely this guide if you're following it 100% to train your melee from levels 1 to 99 in free-to-play. So for the lower levels, you do not require anything except some basic armor, maybe not even armor, because you're going to be training at trolls from levels 1 to 40, and all you really require is a bronze weapon because you're going to be one-hitting them anyways. So upgrading at, let's say, level 30 or 40 attack to a better weapon would not be necessary at all. However, once you do reach level 40 and you're going to be training to level 50 and you're going to be training on monsters that do hit hard and actually require you to have some damage and some decent accuracy because you cannot one hit them, you will require a full set of adamant armor. Now a amulet of power as an amulet will help you with a bit more DPS and a ring of luck is going to be useful as well. You can also use a cape, a veteran's cape if you have a 5 year old account and you're returning and you're going to be training a free to play, that would be very nice in fact, or just a team cape which you can buy off the Grand Exchange for 1k GP. After level 50 you want to be training with a full set of rune armor, preferably plus 3 aka upgraded to the max if you have done that yourself or you can always buy a plus 3 rune set for the maximum amount of defense bonus and a plus 3 weapon as that will be of use. Now after level 55 you can upgrade your gear even more if you have done dungeoneering to get a gravite two handed sword which is just slightly better than a rune two handed sword plus 3. You can also wear yourself a warpriest cape, boots and gloves if you have those, preferably the zamrak one because it does have a nice passive bonus. And if you have the Explorer's Ring, I recommend wearing it at this point as well. But other than that, the little accessories with your gear won't impact your experience per hour much. So as long as you have a plus 3 rune for armor set and sword, you're going to be fine all the way up to 99 in free to play. Oh yes, and I am aware that there are better in-slot items for free to play, especially for the capes. But we're not going to be covering that in this guide because not everyone will have those capes and items. Now let's get into the methods, shall we? From levels 1 to 40, you're going to be training at the same area a member's player would, being the trolls located in the birth rope mine. Follow the video if you do not know how to get there. Now, do not worry about having any weapons, as when you go inside, you can get yourself a free weapon from the NPC standing there, which also sells a ranged weapon. Then all you want to do is literally just kill all the trolls, use your abilities if you do have them, or use the legacy combat mode and just one hit them all the time until the room is empty. If you're killing them as fast as I was, which you'll easily be doing after a few levels, you can hop around the three rooms if there is area to kill all of them each time, because you will have a full room to clear, then you'll move back to your own room or the first room you were in, and then they have all fully respawned. This is pretty easy and will net you a total experience per hour rate of around 25k experience per hour. You'll be level 40 in no time. Alternatively, you can also train for levels 1 to 40 at cows, goblins and chickens, all located in Lumbridge. Very close to the lodestone in fact. Levels 40 to 50, at least method 1, is going to be training on moss giants located in the Varrock sewers. Do not forget to upgrade your gear to adamant before coming here. These will net you a total of 60 to 80,000 experience per hour if you're at least trying hard. Now free to play worlds might be a bit crowded for you to kill moss giants on because there's only 4 spawns in one world in the sewers. This means you may have to hop to find a good world to kill them in. Now at level 40, defense, attack and strength, these will hit pretty hard so be sure to bring some food along with you like lobsters or swordfish. Alternatively, if you wish, you can also train on hill giants, which do require a dusty key to access, which you can buy off the Grand Exchange, which will be needing to open the door to the building to get inside where the hill giants are located. The hill giants are essentially a weaker version of the moss giants and sadly also give less experience per kill, but they are a valid alternative. From levels 50 to 99, you're going to be training on deadly red spiders. Now do not worry as this is not the only method to train on after level 50 in combat or melee combat skills. These spiders do have high defense and hit pretty hard, so be sure to bring some strength potions, attack potions and defense potions along with you, along with some food, like swordfish or lobsters. They are, however, very good experience per hour, ranging from 90 to 160k per hour at higher levels, which is very nice experience for a free-to-play player. 
They're also very good to kill in Legacy Combat Mode. You can also find the Deadly Red Spiders at the Karamja Volcano. The next method is actually very AFK and around 85 to 160k experience per hour. It's killing Hellhounds AFK in the wilderness. You do only want to bring along free items so you do not lose anything except for the food in your inventory, being Rune Plate Legs, a Rune Plate Body, and a Rune 2 H Sword. Go to the Wilderness Lodestone and just follow the video inside the cave until you reach the Hellhounds. Now if you're low level, you want to stand in the same spot I'm standing in in the video, so that only one Hellhound at a time can attack you. All you need to do is eat every now and then and watch your HP as you AFK. This can also net you a experience rate of almost 160k experience per hour at the higher levels. I was actually getting around 170k an hour at all 99 combat stats. If you have a bit higher combat stats, preferably 70 plus, you will have higher accuracy against blue dragons. This means you can also train on blue dragons if you wish to make some money from the dragon bones and blue dragon hides in the wilderness. This will net you around 80 to 130k experience per hour, but it is a long walk every time and back once you need to bank, which does suck. Do remember to bring a anti-fire potion or pray magic against these dragons as otherwise they will hit extremely hard. Other than that, they're pretty easy to kill. If you're unsure on how to go to blue dragons, just re-watch the video clip of me walking to the blue dragons. And finally, the best way to train, which is kind of hard actually because Clan Wars isn't as active, is Clan Wars White Portal. Now this can even be started at level 1, but you're basically not going to be getting any experience unless you're killing a friend of yours without any armor on. This can be extremely high experience, however, if you're constantly killing people at a high combat level with you just killing lower levels or maybe even higher levels with ease without dying all the time without doing any damage. In fact, it can be almost 300k experience per hour. But do keep in mind, this place is actually very toxic and the community is not very welcoming. There's this thing called NSing and, you know, just forget about it. Just put people on ignore if they start flaming you or whatever and just keep killing them for their experience if you do want to train this way. Even though people don't really like it, you can also focus on killing people that are way lower level combat than you for more experience per hour. But that's kind of a dick move in a way. Anyways, that's the end of my free-to-play 1-9-9 to melee guide, or melee quick guide. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below and maybe even consider subscribing. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.